Hi guys, Mark from Fresh Art Media. Just wanted to show you my latest purchase, which is this. If you can see that okay there, this is my bamboo pen and touch graphics tablet, which I bought for my projects in Photoshop and C4D, but primarily Photoshop. But you can use these in C4D. Um, it's made by Wacom, uh, costs about 50 quid. Uh, 30 thin, it's a USB connection, just show it to you there. Um, we've got various buttons along the side here. This light in the middle, when it's white, means it's not in use. If I hold the pen near to it, you'll see the light turn red. Now you can either use it by you can move your cursor around by holding the pen just above the <coughs> pad or um, if you actually want to draw or do something with it you have physically hold the pen on top of the pad or onto the pad you've then got a series of buttons along here um, this one turns the touch on and off with touch on you can move the cursor around you can see with your finger and the pen oops I'm going to do that uh, if you turn the touch off you can't do anything with your finger you can only move things around with the pen itself this one loads the bamboo uh, well gadget type thing I guess it's just a bit of fun not a lot of use other than this one where you can set your tablet up for your specific needs this one doesn't actually do anything and this one has various different settings it's primarily this one and this one well primarily just this one here that puppy. So let's see what, what we can do in C4D. Um, first thing you need to do when you first get your tablet, I'll turn my turn my touch off, is to go to your preferences and oh one thing I did mean to show you in the pen here you see has two buttons. So if you hold it like a pen, where am I? Just rest your thumb there. That acts like your um, like your left mouse button. So um, yes, come to your preferences. And you see there. I just press the top button to act as the left mouse button. And in your common tab here, make sure graphic tablet is um, ticked. Because if you un if it's not ticked, and if I select the cube for example. As soon as I touch it, it goes absolutely mental. Try to resize it, it just goes daft. So, um, let's that cube. Um, so, what you need to do is in your preferences, oops, make sure that is ticked. So then when you get your cube out in your scene or whatever it is, you can move it about quite happily. Resize, um, select, make it editable, pick a, pick a polygon, move that around quite happily, no problems at all. So it just makes it, using a tablet, is quite a lot easier, especially like if you want to let's delete that cube for a second. If you want to freestyle some splines, so much easier to draw um, with a tablet. Let's go in this view, for example. Let's do my then. Oops, need my spline. What should we do? Um, let's do my name, shall we? 
do an M. Uh, and just as we do normally, really. You hold the, hold the pen down and drag to drag and drop. Drag them in there. All sorts of weird stuff. Go back into a view here. You can still zoom in and out using the icons. Just hold hold the pen down. Do that. You can spin around as before. You can pan up and down as before. Really, really dead simple to use. Does take some getting used to. I don't mind admitting, but especially for uh, Photoshop, it's just it gives you that bit more detail. And of course, you can. Um, this will become particularly pertinent in uh, body paint, of course, where you want to paint something on a on an object and uh, all that sort of stuff. But we're not going to get into that today. I just wanted to show you how it works. So basically, make sure in your preferences that graphic tablet and high res are selected and then you can go away and model to your heart's content hopefully you found it of use um, why don't you go out and buy one so about 50 quid and I've got this one particular one from PC World okay speak to you soon see ya